symmetric multi processor. Symmetric, which is in other words, is same. What is the same? All processors can perform the same function. So, uh, symmetry in multi processors or SMP in short involves a multi processor computer hardware and software architecture which where two or more identical processors are connected to a single shared main memory. So it has full access to input output devices either through the same channels or through different channels that provide paths to the same device. So the system is controlled by an integrated operating system that provides interaction between processors and their programs at the job task, file, and data element levels. The bus organization has several attractive features, uh, which is, it has three features, simplicity, flexibility, and reliability. Flexibility is, is generally easy to expand the system by attaching more processes to the bus. Reliability, the bus is Essentially, a passive medium and the failure of any attached device should not cause failure of the whole system. Advantage of SMP compared to unit processor. So, uh, the performance, availability, uh, performance if the work to be done by a computer can be organized so that some portions of the work can be done in parallel, then a system with multiple processes will yield greater performance than one with a single processor of the same type. So the disadvantages of SMP. The main drawback of the bus organizations is all memory references pass through the common bus. Thus, the bus cycle time limits the speed of the system. So to improve the performance, uh, each processor uh, need to have a cache memory so that it can reduce the number of bus accesses dramatically. So SMPs have two levels of catch, which is level one catch internal and the level two catch either internal or external. The use of catches introduce some new design consideration. This problem is known as the catch coherence problem, and is typically addressed in hardware rather than the operating system. Now we're going to continue with non-uniform memory access, also known as NUMA. The characteristics of NUMA are all processors have access to all parts of main memory using loads and stores. Also, the, mem the memory access time of a processor differs depending on which region of main memory is accessed. The variant of NUMA is called Catch Coherent NUMA or CC NUMA. It is, it is a NUMA system in which catch coherence is maintained among the catches of various processors. This figure shows CC NUMA organization. The difference between SMP and NUMA is NUMA uses a single shared bus connecting processors to main memory and I.O. modules, while NUMA uses multiple shared bus connecting processors to I.O. module and main memory. Uh, the motivation to use NUMA is, while with an SMP system, there is a practical limit to the number of processors that can be used, An effective catch scheme reduces the bus traffic between any one processor and main memory. As the number of processors increase, this bus traffic also increases. Also, the bus is used to exchange catch coherent signals, further adding to the burden. At some point, the bus becomes a performance bottleneck. With a NUMA, each NUMA node has its own private main memory. Applications do not see a large global memory. In effect, coherency is maintained in software rather than hardware. This memory granularity affects performance, and to achieve maximum performance, software must be tailored to, to this environment. One approach to achieve large-scale multiprocessing while retaining the flavor of SMP is NUMA. The objective with NUMA is to maintain a transparent system, wide memory, while permitting multiple processor nodes, each with its own bus or other internal interconnect system. The advantage of using NUMA is it can deliver effective performance. NUMA can perform at higher levels of parallelisms than SMP without requiring major software changes. With multiple NUMA nodes, the bus traffic on any individual node is limited to the demand that the bus can handle. However, NUMA is not without its disadvantages. If many of the memory accesses are to remote nodes, performance begins to break down. This can be avoided by using the L1 and L2 catches. It is designed to minimize all memory accesses, including remote ones. Also, NUMA does not transparently look like an SMP. Software changes will be required to move an operating system and applications from an SMP to a NUMA system. This means making changes to page allocation, process allocation, and load balancing can be quite difficult.